Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the Word, a right and life-giving spirit, a spirit of prophecy and chastity, a spirit of holiness, righteous and authority, O the Almighty One. For you are the light of our souls, O you give light to every man that comes to the world. Have mercy on us. O Theotokos, you are the true vine who bore the cluster of life. We ask you for grace with the apostles for the salvation of our souls. Blessed is the Lord our God, blessed is the Lord day by day. He prepares our way for his God of our salvation. O heavenly King, the comfort of your spirit, truth, who is present in all places and fills all to treasure your good things in life, give graciously come and dwell on us and purify us from all defilement. O good one, save our souls. Just as you were with your disciples, O Savior, and gave them peace, graciously come also and be with us, and grant us your peace, and save us, and deliver our souls. When I was standing in holy center, we are concerned standing in heaven, O Savior, to call to yours. The gate of heaven is open f- for us, the gate of mercy. We, holy God, holy might, holy immortal, who was born a virgin of us. Holy God. Son of Holy Spirit, now and for our sake, O Trinity, have mercy on us. O Trinity, have mercy on us. O Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, forgive us our sins. O Lord, forgive us our iniquities. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses. O Lord, visit the sick of your people and heal them for the sake of your holy name. Our fathers and brothers, who have fallen asleep, O Lord, repose their souls. O your word, without sin, Lord, have mercy on us. O your word, without sin, Lord, help us and receive our supplications. If your word is the glory, the dominion, and the triple holiness, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. So the way that you praise him to our Father who art in heaven. I will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, earth as his heaven. Give us our daily bread, for us our trespasses, as we feel the trespasses, because those things and temptations, please. May we encourage our Lord for the and pray the Lord for every man. Excelsior, so someone, holy, 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 a pass from the gospel according to St. Matthew, may his holy blessings be with us all, amen. And seeing the multitudes, he went up to the mountain, and when he was seated, the disciples came to him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who, per- who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile you and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you. Falsely for my sake, rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is the reward in heaven. For so they persecuted, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you, were the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its flavor, how then shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing to be thrown out and be trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all those who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, so that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. May they see and be cooking in peace, worship your Christ. Is your good Father and the Holy Spirit for you have come and saved us. Sunday. Yeah, مزق ساق خدايا أنا المسيح لهنا وخلصنا أنا صرخت للرب ورسل الرب سمعني الله مستجب صراتي وصلاة رف الطبطي التفت إلي اسمعني عشية وباكر وقت الظهر كلامي أقول وفاس مع صوتي وخلص نفسي بسلام. بترينك أيك أيون دماتي يا يسوع المسيح لنا لسه مرتع صليبنا في الساعة السادسة. قتلت خطيئة بالخشوة حيث ما يتموت كل زوج إنسان زخطته بيديك الذي مات بالخطيئة قتل أجانا بلا مكش في المحيا بالمسمية التي سمرت بها أنقذ أكون مضيشت على ما لا يولي شوات العالمية التي تذكر أحكامك السماء كرافتك كاني كاني كاستوسيون استونيون آمين since we have no favor nor excuse nor justification because of our many sins, we through you implore to him who was born of you with Theotokos, the virgin, for abundant and acceptable is your intercession with our Savior, Holy Mother, do not exclude sinners from your intercession with him whom you bore. For he is, the, he is merciful and able to save us because he suffered for us to deliver us, let your compassion speedily reach us. For you are exceedingly humbled, help us, O God, our Savior, for the glory of your name. O Lord, deliver us and forgive us our sins for the sake of your holy name.
your salvation in the midst of the all earth, O Christ our God, as you stretched your holy hand on the cross, therefore the all nation cry out, saying, Glory be to you, to you O Lord. <laughs> كل شخص غير الفاسد يا الصالح طالبين مفيرة خيطانا والمسيح إلى هنا لأن بمشاهدك سررت أن تصد على الصليل وتناجي الذين خلقتهم من عبادية العدو نصرخ إليك ونشكرك لأنك ملأت الكل فرحنا يا المخلص لما أتيت لتعين العالم يا رب المجد لك أنت هي ممتع لأن نعمة يا والدة الإله العذراء نعظمك لأن من قبل الصليب ابنك نهبط الجحيم وبطل الموت أمواتنا كنا فنهضنا واستحققنا الحياة الأبدية وأننا نعيم الفردوس الأول من أجل هذا نمجد بالشكر غير المئات المسيح لنا we believe in one God, God the Father, from the creator, creator of heaven and earth, all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father, for all ages, the light of life, true God, true God. And this is Father, but whom all things are made, who for us, meant for our salvation, came not from heaven. So our Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary became man. He is crucified for the first while suffering and during the third day of and died. According to scriptures, he sent to heaven to surround his Father's kingdom and his will. تذكر قيامة الأموات حياة الدار التي آمين نسألك يا رب تسمعنا وترحمنا تفل لنا خطيئنا وخطايا شعبك أمين لا يسون كريا 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 لا يسون Son, Kenya, Lai, 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 Son, Yeah. 
see who comes in the name of the Lord of وأقبل سؤالات وطلبات قديسين وبصنع عنا في كل حين ويجعلنا مستحقين أن ننال من شركة أسرار مقدسة مباركة لمغفرات خطايانا يا رب رحم من عمد هذا نسأل ونطلب من صلاحك يا محب البشر إن نحن أن نكمل على اليوم المقدس كل أيام حياتنا بكل سلام معقوفة كل حسد وكل تجربة كل فعل شيطان 
مؤامرات الناس الأشرار قيام الأعداء الخفيين والظاهرين انزعها عنا وعن كل شيء الصالحات والنفعات والذقنية لأنك أنت الذي أعطيتنا السلطان أن نجوس على الحياة العقل على كل قوات العدو كل الشعب وضعفي يكونون محللين من فم الثالوث القدس الاب والابن والروح القدس ومن فم الكنيسه الواحده الوحيده المقدسه الجامعه الرسولي من افواه الاثنى عشر رسولا ومن فم نظر الاله الانجيلي ماركوس الرسول الطاهر والشهيد والبطريرك القديس ويرس ومعلم داس خورس القديس اسناسس الرسولي والقديس بطرس خاتم الشهداء هو رئيس الكهن القديس يوحنا ذهب الفم القديس كيرلس القديس باسيلس القديس اوروريوس ومن افواه 318 المكرمين بنخيا والماء الخمسين بالقسطنطينيه والمائتين بافس ومن فم ابينا المكرم رئيس الكهن البابا ام طرس من فم حقارتي لانه مبارك وقدوس ومجيء مجدا اسمك القدوس الآن كل Oh, oh, oh. 
I say again, let no one think me a fool, if otherwise at least receive me as a fool, that I also may boast a little. What I speak, I speak not according to the Lord, but as it were foolishly in this confidence of boasting. Seeing that, may, that many boast according to, to the flesh, I will also boast. For you put up with fools gladly, since you yourselves are wise. For you put up with it if one brings you into bondage. If one devours you, if one takes from you, if one exalts himself, if one strikes you on the face. To our, to, to our shame, I say that we were too weak for that. But in whatever anyone is bold, I speak foolishly, I am bold also. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Are they the ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool, I am more. In labors, 
more abundance in stripes above measure in prisons more frequently in deaths often. From the Jews, five times I received forty stripes minus one. Three times I was beaten with rods, once I was stoned, three times I was shipwrecked. A night and a day I've been in the deep. <coughs> in journeys often, in per perils of water, in perils of robbers, in perils of my old countrymen, in perils of the Gentiles, in perils of the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren, in weariness and toil and sleepiness often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often, in cold and nakedness, besides the other things what comes upon me daily, my deep concern for all the churches. The grace of God the Father be with you all, Lord. The Catholic Epistle from the Second Epistle of our teacher, St. Peter, may his holy blessings be with us all amen. Simon Peter, a bond servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who have obtained like precious faith with us by the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. As, as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises that through those you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through, through lust. But also for this very reason, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue to right, not to virtue knowledge, to knowledge self-control, to self-control perseverance, to perseverance godliness to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness love for if these things are yours and abound you will be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our lord jesus christ for he who lacks these things is the is short sight and even to even to blindliness and has and has given has forgotten that he was cleansed from his old sins Therefore, brethren, be even more diligent to make your call and election sure, for if you do these things, you will never stumble. For, you, for so an inheritance will be supplied to you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Do not love the world or the things in the world. The world is passing away and it's lost, but he does the will of God abides forever. I mean. El tuyo, oh, oh, Be my 
Disciples from Kyrissa went with us and brought with them a certain mansion of Cyprus and an early disciple with whom we were to lodge. And when we had to come to Jerusalem, the brethren received us gladly. On the following day, Paul went in with us to James, and all the elders were present. When he had greeted them, he told them detailed those things which God had done among the Gentiles through his ministry. On the following day, Paul went in with us to James, and all the elders were present. When he had greeted them, he told them detail those gods which God. And when they heard it, they glorified the Lord. And they said to him, You see, brother, how many my myriads of Jews there are who have believed, and they all all zealous for the law. They have been informed about you that you teach all the Jews who were among the Gentiles for, to forsake Moses, saying that they ought not to circumcise these their children, nor to walk according to the customs. What then? The assembly must certainly meet, for they will hear that you have come. Therefore do what we tell you. We have four men who have taken a vow. Then take them and be purified with them, and pay their expenses, so that they may shave their heads, and that all may know that those things which they were informed concerning you are nothing, but that you yourself also walk orderly and keep the law. But concerning the Gentiles who believe, we have written and decided that they should observe no such thing, except that they should keep themselves from thing, things offered to idols, from blood, from things strangely, and from sexual immortality. Then Paul took the men, and the next day had been purified with them, entered the temple to announce the expiration of the days of purification, at which time an offering should be made for each one of them. The word, of the, the word of the Lord shall grow and multiply and mighty and be confirmed in the Holy Church of God. Amen. Amen. Today is the first day of the blessed month of Baramhat. May God begin it in goodness and reward for us in peace and tranquility where our sins and iniquities are forgiven. And through him, mercy of our Lord, of my fathers and brethren. Amen. Yesterday was the feast of Pope Krollos, so we're going to read the synxerium of yesterday for the feast of the Pope Krollos. On the year 1687 of the martyrs, March 9, 1971, the Holy and the Righteous Father, Pope Ava Krollos VI, the 116th Pope of Alexandria, departed. He was born in the city of Damanhur, to godly and the righteous parents, his name was Azar Yusuf Atta, the Hegumen, Tadros El Baramosi, an older monk, used to be frequently visiting visit them. He foretold his monastic life, and when he grew, he practiced the monastic life at home, preserving and studying and the, in the holy book, the church subject, its ritual and the hymns. In the July 1927, he went to the monastery of El Baramos, where he became a monk by the name of Mina El Baramosi. On the July 18, 1931, he was ordained a priest. He joined the seminars at Helwan when he heard that Pope Ioannis, the Pope 113 Patriarch, attended to ordain him a bishop. He fled to the Upper Egypt and stayed in the St. Shinoda Monastery in Sohag. 
he was returned later and meet the patriarch who agreed to his request of solitary life and assigned a pious monk, Higomen Abdel Messih El Baramusi, to be his spiritual guide. Then he lived in a cave one hour walking distance from the monastery. He only became to the monastery he came to the monastery Saturday night to take care of the elder monk attending Vesper and the Sunday liturgy to partake in of the holy mystery. Uh, early in 1936, he lived in the desert mill on the Matam Ma mountain in the older Cairo where he diligently held a daily liturgy. In 1941, he was assigned to be the abbot of Amba Samuel, the confessor, the monastery in Kalamon Mountain. He renovated the monastery, the church, and built a new cells for the monk. The church was consecrated by the late bishop Amba Asanasius of Benisweif, who gave him the rank of the Hegumen. In 1947, he returned to the old Cairo, where he built a church after the name of Saint Mina. In that church, several pious monks became his disciple. Many of them later and, and became bishop of the church because of his perpetual prayer and the strong face, he healed the sick, cast out the evil spirit, and solved many problems of his visitors. وعندما تنيح البابا يوساب وبعد عملية مطولة من الترشيحات تم عمل القرعة الإلهية التي وقعت على القمص من البرموس ليكون البطريرك. المئة والسادس عشر من بطريقة الأسكندرية وتم رسامته بطريركا في يوم عشر مايو من سنة ألف تسعمية خمسة تسعة وخمسين باسم البابا كيرولوس السادس وفي يوم تمانية وعشرين يونيو من سنة ألف تسعمية تسعة وخمسين قام قداسته برسامة بطريرك للكنيسة الأسيوبية لكي يقوي الروابط بين الكنائس الشقيقة وفي نوفمبر من سنة 1959 وضع البابا كيرولوس حجر الأساس لدير مريمين العجيبي في صحراء مريوت ونقل رفاته الطاهرة إليه وفي سنة 1967 قام بطبخ الميرون لقد كان ذلك حدثا تاريخيا حيث أن الميرون كان قد طبخ في الكنيسة القبطية 26 مرة فقط على مدار تاريخها وفي يوم 2 إبريل من سنة 1968 ظهرت القديس العذراء والدة الإله مريم على قباب كنيستها في الزيتون وفي يوليو من سنة 1968 جلب البابا كرولوس رفات القديس ماري مرقص الرسول الذي بقيت خارج مصر بما يقرب من 11 قرنا من الزمان ولقد وضع هذه الرفات لتستقر في مزار بني خصيصا تحت المسبح الكاتدرائية الكبرى للقديس ماري مرقس التي بناها البابا في منطقة الأمبرويس بالعباسية كانت هذه الكاتدرائية قد تمت افتتاحها في, افت... في احتفال مهيب حضره البابا جم... حضره الرئيس جمال عبد الناصر والامبراطور الراحل إلى سلاسي ومندوبين عن الكنائس من العالم كله ولم ينسى البابا كيرولوس قط أنه الراهب الفقير من المتوحد فكان طعامه بسيطا جدا حيث كان في أيام كثيرة يأكل وجبة واحدة من الخبز الجاف والملح والكمون بعد أن يصلي القداسات في وقت متأخر من المساء كما كان حريصا على إقامة تسبحة نصف الليل يوميا وكان قداسته وكان قداسه اليومي هادئا وعميقا وهذا وقد منحه الله منح الله هذا الأب الطاهر موهبة صنع المعجزات حتى بعد نياحته وعندما أراد الله أن يريحه من أتعاب هذا الظهر 
مرضا مرضا قصيرا وفي يوم حتى استقبل عبيد من أبنائه ورفع الصليب وقال الرب يدبر أموركم ثم أسلم روح الطاهر بيد الله الذي خدمه وحبه وفي يوم 25 نوفمبر من سنة 1972 تم نقل رفاته الطاهرة إلى دير مارمينا بصحراء ميرود بحسب الوصية التي كتبها بخط يده وفي يوم نقل رفاته إلى الدين كرمته السماء ببروق وأمطار الأزيرة لم تحدث بهذه الطريقة من قبل بركة صلوات هذا الأب القديس تكون معنا جميعنا سيد الرب يسوع المسيح إلهنا الذي خال الزميل القديسين ورسل الأطهار إن أنبياء وأبرار كثيرين اشتهوا أن يروا ما أنتم ترون ولم يروا وأن يسمعوا ما أنتم تسمعون ولم يسمعوا أما أنتم فطوبوا لأعينكم لأنه تبصر ولأذانكم لأنه تسمع أن نستحق أن نسمع ونعمله Pray for the Holy Gospel. أفضل أذكر أيضا يا سيدنا كل الذين أوصونا أن نذكرهم في تضرعات وطلباتنا التي نصعدها إليك أيها الرب إله الذين سبقوا فرقد نيحهم والمرضى إشفيه لأنك أنت حياتنا كلنا خلاصنا كلنا رجاؤنا كلنا شفاؤنا كلنا وقيامتنا كلنا
sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory from men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have the reward. But when you do a charitable deed, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Their charitable deed may be in secret, and your father who sees in secret will himself reward you openly. And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray, standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have the reward. But you, when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret, will reward you openly. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as a heathen do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Therefore, do not be like them, for your Father is in the things you have in need of before you ask him. In this manner, therefore, pray our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever, amen. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. If you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Moreover, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with a sad conscience, for they disfigure their faces, and may they, and they may appear to men to be fasting. I should I say to you, they have the reward, but when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you do not appear to men to be fasting, but to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret rewards you openly. And glory be to God for Today is known in the church as the pre-Sunday, pre-Lent Sunday, because God, with the grace of God, God willing, tomorrow will be when the church will start its uh, Lent journey. So be, um, God willing, um, tomorrow will be starting the journey of Lent. And I pray that we, all of you, um, start with the church uh, start to land with the church and preparations and enjoy that time of uh, fasting and repentance and getting closer to God during the time of Lent. And the reading of the Gospel this morning is from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 6. And it speaks to us about um, the giving. It says, Take heed that you don't do your charitable deed before men to be seen by them. 
otherwise you have no reward from your Father in heaven. That's the first one. Second one is talking about um, prayer. He says, when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues on the corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. And the third one says, Moreover, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear to men to be fasting. And as we start again the journey of Lent, you find your, we will find ourselves, that's the whole point of fasting, as you pray more, and then you give more, and you find yourself fasting during that time, which is controlling the body's desire. And that's again the point of fasting. The fasting is not about food, but fasting is about um, reducing your time that you spend thinking about food and learning how to control your desires. That's the point of fasting. It's teaching you self, spiritual self-discipline. In life in general, we know how to do self-discipline and push ourselves to do things that we want to do. Like, for example, in life in general, we have goals either career goals or, you know, achieving certain levels of studying or jobs or money or whatever. So we have certain goals in life. And we have these goals and we try to discipline ourselves. Like, for example, if your goal is to buy a new car, so you discipline yourself and you're, you know, trying not to spend less, control what you spend, save the money so you can buy that car that you want to buy. So it's like you're setting some goals for yourselves to achieve. Same thing in a spiritual sense. During Lent time, we are setting some spiritual goals for ourselves. Virtues that we want to gain. Virtues that we don't want to practice. So how do you do that? You start fasting. Fasting helps you to control the body desires so you can reach the goal of any spiritual goal that you want to reach. For example, certain reading of the scriptures, certain... Um, you know, types of prayers that you can practice, things like that. It's important to, during the fasting time, to practice fasting and prayer and giving also. So giving is type of caring for others. That's giving. I care about my neighbors, the needs of others, more than my own needs. So that's the point of giving. So it's just connecting with each other. Prayer is connecting with God. Fasting, it's inward things so you're controlling yourself to benefit yourselves so these are the spiritual practices that we do during the fasting time however the christ today is giving us some warning although these practices are good like fasting prayer uh, or giving are v spiritually very good and it helps you sometimes we found ourselves doing all that but not benefiting anything and we ask ourselves, why is that? I fasted and I benefited nothing. And also I found myself, for example, giving and I'm not benefiting anything and I feel like nothing happened. And I pray and I feel like I'm just talking to the air and not feeling anything, I'm not doing much. Nothing is changing. Well, Christ is pointing to us this morning that sometimes it's just... We need to check our hearts, why are we doing what we're doing, in order for us to benefit from it. Because sometimes we, 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 we do fasting, but again we are praying, but again the heart is wrong. And he explained that in the gospel today. And that's why you find yourself not, not benefiting much. That's why the church in the beginning of Lent, as we start Lent tomorrow, I pray that all of us start examining the heart. Examining your heart, examining your motives. Why are we fasting? Why are we praying? Why are we giving more? When we think about that and pray about that, and you think you search in your heart, maybe you will find something that you need to change and repent from, and that will help you benefit more from your heart.
And that's why, again, it's very important at the beginning of Lent to check all your spiritual motives and all the goals that you have set for Lent so you find yourself, why are you doing this? When you look at your motives in a spiritual sense, you find, as Christ pointed it in the Gospel this morning, you find maybe there are three layers of that. First, it could be superficial motives. It's just, again, I'm fasting because everyone else is fasting. I'm praying because, again, as a Christian, I'm supposed to pray. That's what Christians do. We pray, so I'm going to pray. But again, this is just, again, a superficial, visible, to be seen. Why are you coming to church this morning? People go to church on Sunday morning to church. That's what Christians do. Okay, so this is, again, superficial motives. This is just the surface. Again, it's not evil in itself, but again, you find yourself gaining nothing. Okay? So, the, this is level one, or the, the superficial level, which is Christ is pointing today about the Pharisees, that they pray in the three corners to be seen by people. That's why they pray, just to be seen by people. And this is again, we do good stuff. Why do you do good stuff? Maybe to get some praise from other people? Maybe, I don't know the reasons. Okay, so that could be some superficial um, motives or just surface kind of motives that benefit you nothing. This is just superficial level. Second level could be a hidden motives. Like for example, just again, I have some desires to, like I'm doing this so I can be recognized by others. Why are you helping? Because I won't feel like I'm doing something to the community. I feel like I am good and people recognize me and, and, and understand me and things like that. So this is some hidden desires other than the act itself. So the heart is not straight. Or sometimes the people even, they pray because even if you're doing some good stuff, they pray, for example, or do some good deeds because, again, I'm fearing God. God may punish me if I don't do that. Or maybe I'm, I'm doing that because, again, I don't want to you know, upset God or something like that. This, again, this is not correct understanding of how God deals with us. So, again, sometimes it's a hidden motives and, and, and some desires or fears that's inside of us that's pushing us to do stuff. But again, we're not benefiting much again because of what? It's not the right motives. It's not the right way of doing things uh, for the Christians. And sometimes it's just um, unconscious experiences, some experiences in the past. That's why we're doing that uh, for, for God. So again, Christ is pointing to us, want us to check our hearts, to, to examine our motives when we do any spiritual activities. Is it a superficial one, it's just something in the service to be recognized by others, or it's something in the heart, some fear, I want to be recognized by people, or it's something that some past experiences, that's why I'm doing it. The danger of that, the danger of not checking your motive, the danger of doing any spiritual practices like fasting or prayer or giving without checking your motives first, it just you find yourself again benefiting nothing. In James 4, it says, when you ask, you do not receive, because you ask with wrong motives, that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. And that's, again, so because you have a wrong motives, you're getting nothing. You're getting what you put in. So your motives is wrong, so you get what? Nothing. You find yourself, again, just praying, and nothing is happening. And you're bored during prayers, again, because you're wrong motives. Maybe I'm doing it because my parents push me to pray or want me to pray, but... I, what is your heart? And that's why you benefit nothing. Um, you come to church because, you know, my parents made me come to church. What you, again, you find yourself benefiting nothing because, again, the motives are wrong. Also, it impacts your spiritual growth. You find your spiritual growth is just growing very, very little. Very, very little, if any. Because, again, you come to, for example, Sunday school just to meet my friends. Um, coming to the church just to get to know people, so just to relationships. But you're not coming for Christ, for growing the spiritual. You read the scriptures or you read the, the Bible just because I can, just maybe my parents told me or my cousin I, I, Abuna told me or I just want to do it. You find yourself again benefiting nothing because again the motives are, are not correct. So we need to work on that during Lent. The example in the Bible is just the 
the Pharisees and the, and the publican the tax collectors. It's in, in Luke 18, in verse 9. This is a good example that shows us if we're doing something with the wrong motive, we get nothing. Uh, it says, and, and he spoke with a parable to them. Christ gave them a parable about uh, a religious dispute. Okay. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one Pharisee and one tax collector, two totally people. <clears throat> tax collectors were seen as people who loved money back then. The Pharisees stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank you that I am not like one other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as the tax collectors. So he started comparing himself to the person standing next to him. I fast twice, I give tithe of all that I possess. See how good I am? See how good I am? And the tax collector standing after off would not so much as raise his eyes to heaven, but beat on his chest saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. So you see the comparison? Someone went to the temple, that Pharisee, and he started comparing himself to others. I do much more than those people. I do much more than this. I do much more. And the, and the tax collector, who was seen as a sinner, went and just beat it on his chest and saying, God have mercy on me, a sinner. Christ's response to that is what? I tell you, this man went down his house justified, the tax collector, rather than the other, the Pharisee. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and who humbles himself will be exalted. So if you think, again, they're both going to do the same thing, to pray in a temple. All of us are coming to church to pray. We pray at home. We read the scripture. We all read the scriptures. We all fast. Okay. Again, but what is the motive in your heart? Why are you doing this? Because again, one was justified when he said, God have mercy on me, and one gained nothing. So the, 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 the factor here is what? It's the heart. Why are we doing? Why are we going? So the first he went to the temple to pray and compare himself to others and think of himself, I'm a righteous person, I'm better than other people. So the Christ is telling him that he went to nothing. He gained nothing. Okay, so again, it's important for us before we start the fasting time to look at our hearts and see why are we doing what we're doing. Any spiritual goals, any um, fasting prayers, reading the scriptures, anything that you do, why are you doing what you're doing? Here are some steps uh, that would help you to check your motives. When you do any spiritual activities like going to meetings and praying, we need to check some stuff. First, how would you know your motives? Just by praying about it. Asking God and reflecting on the Word of God to search you. The Word of God is like a mirror. So it shows what's in the heart. So when you pray, you ask God to reveal what's in your heart. Um, reflect on your motives. Okay, when, when I went to church today, when, I, when you go home, pray about today. What, you went to church this morning, so what did you get out of it? You attended Sunday school class. What did you get out of it? Not just some words that you have memorized, but what did I learn? What, what did I benefit? What, how did the lesson today in Sunday school help me grow spiritually? And think about it. What did you get out of it? You went to church for about three hours or so. Did you really pray? Or you just attended the church? What did you do? That's a question to ask yourself when you go home. We spend hours in the church. Are we really praying? Are we really praying here? Or this is just a time? Did you feel really connected with God in your prayers? Or just we repeated some hymns that we say every Sunday in the church? Well, it depends on your heart. It depends on your heart. So I want you to check that. When you go home to ask yourself that. Ask the Holy Spirit to guide you in that procession, even when you deal with people, when you deal uh, with other people. Are we dealing in love as Christ taught us, or are we dealing just kind of being kind as people are supposed to be kind, things like that, as a social event, where it's something that we're doing out of our hearts. So check your heart, reflect on that, and pray about it. Ask yourself questions. Psalm 139 says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxiety and thoughts. See if there is any offenses, offensive way in me and lead me in the way of everlasting. Right? 
Second is, ask, try to learn from every experience that you go through. Like for example, last year Lent or this year Lent, okay, what, what are we learning? So we all make mistakes. Like for example, you went to a church and you get nothing. What can I, how can I do different? So meditating and learning, have a, a heart that is able to be taught and learned is very important. So let your heart be open to the Holy Spirit to teach you, okay? Um, understand that we are learning all the time. When we stop learning and changing, this is where we, nothing happened in our life. So all the time we are growing is spiritual. Am I growing or not? Am I learning or not? What are we learning this Lent about the church fathers, about the scriptures? How are we getting deeper into that and learning from the word of God? What are the practices that we're doing? If we are ignoring that, then we're not growing. How are we growing in the knowledge of God? How are we going, growing in the way we raise our children, we parent our children? How are we growing as a husband and wife together in the home? How are we growing in, you know, as, uh, you know, as we deal with other relationships? Things like that. So this is things that areas that we need to always continually grow in. So we need to be open to be learning, open to learn. Okay. Look at the mistakes, the motives, okay? How come we didn't benefit something? So let's do something different, try something. And in, in humility, you'll be able to learn, okay? because again, if you're not humble, you're not gonna learn. So you need to be humble, ask the Holy Spirit to help you to be humble so you can learn uh, and let the Holy Spirit guide you in whatever you do. As we starting the, the journey Lent, Lent, uh, <clears throat> Lent time, we need to be checking our motives, checking our hearts, examining our hearts. So this time of the year, it's a very special time. So I pray that we all check our hearts so when we start that journey, we can all grow closer to Him and may His word be in us and glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. Jebenio o tetkheni fi oi mare to Son and the Holy Spirit, the perfect Trinity, we worship Him and glorify Him. We believe in one God, God the Father, Pontificator, Creator of heaven and earth, all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father for all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten and not created, of one essence for the Father, by whom all things are made. Man for all salvation, came not from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary became man, and he was crucified for us under Pontus Pilate, suffering and was buried in the rose from the dead. According to the scriptures, I sent into the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his father, is coming again as glory, to judge the living and the dead, his kingdom of Shah is the one. Yes, who believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, proceeds from the Father, the Father, the Son, is worshiped and glorified. Spoke by the prophets, only the Catholic and Apostolic Church, we confess and pass the mission of sins.
forgive me and pray for me. Shlile flogi son. Peace be with us. And with your spirit. O oh God, the great, the eternal formed man in incorruption. And that's which enters into the world by the envy of the devil. You have destroyed by the life giving manifestation of your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. You have filled the earth with the heavenly peace by which the hosts of angels glorify you, saying, Glory to God in the highest peace on earth. And goodwill towards men. Pray for perfect peace, love, and the holy apolic kisses. Lord, Lord mercy. According to your goodwill, O oh God, fill our hearts with your peace. Cleanse us from all blemish, of God, the poker, seal, malice, and the remembrance of evil. Intending death and make us unworthy, our master, to greet one another with a holy kiss. Thou that falling in condemnation may partake of your immortal heavenly gift. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. To one another who's the holy kiss, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord, who you are, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, hear us and have mercy on us. Oh, for an order, stand in trembling, look towards the east, let's attend. Through the intercession of the CEO, Stoko Saint Mary, O Lord, in tons of forgiveness of our sins, we worship your Christ with your good Father and the Holy Spirit for your coming saved us. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice of, 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 of praise. The Lord be with you all and with your spirit. Truly indeed it is me and right. Oh, the being master, Lord, the God of truth, being before the ages and reigning forever. Who dwell in the highest and look upon the lowly, have created the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that is there. And the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, by whom you have created all things, visible and invisible, sets upon the throne of his glory, and who is worshipped by all the holy powers. You who are seated, stand. 
before whom stand the angels, the archangels, the principalities, the authorities, the thrones, the dominions, and the powers. Look towards the east. You are here around whom stand the cherubim, full of eyes, and the seraphim with six wings, praising continuously without ceasing, say, the cherubim worship you, and the seraphim glorify you, proclaiming and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord. in the paradise of joy. When we disobeyed the commandments by the deception of the serpent, we fell from eternal life and were exiled from the paradise of joy. You have not abandoned us to the end. Have always visited us through your holy prophets. And in the last days you have manifested yourself to us, we're sitting in darkness, shadow of death, to your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin Mary. taught us the ways of salvation. He granted us the birth of one high through water and his spirit. He made us unto himself and his sample people and sanctified us by your Holy Spirit. He loved his own water in the world, gave himself up for our salvation unto death, which reigned over us. Whereby we were bound and sold on account of our sins. He descended into Hades through the cross. Amen. And the evidence at, at your right hand, O oh Father. He has appointed a day for recompense in which will appear to judge the word of righteousness. Give each one according to his deeds. According to your mercy, O oh, oh Lord, and not according to لأنه فيما ورسلنا نسلم أن نفسه 
للموت عن حياة العالم آمين أخذنا خبزا على يدي الطارتين اللتين بلا عيب ولا دنس الطباويتين والمحيات نؤمن أن هذا هو بالحقيقة آمين والنظر والنظر إلى فوق نحو السماء إليك يا الله أبي وسيد وشكر آمين وباركه آمين وقد آمين نؤمن ونعترف ونماجد وقد سمعوا وعطوا لتلاميذ والقديسين ورسل الأطهار قائلا خذوا كلوا منه كلكم لأن هذا هو جسدي جسدي الذي يقسم عنكم وعن كثيرين يعطى لمغفرة الخطايا ها تصنعوا للذكر هذا هو بالحقيقة آمين هكذا الكأس أيضا بعد العشاء مزجها من عصير الكرم وأماء وشكر آمين آمين وقد أسلم آمين وأيضا نؤمن ونعترف ونوما ورسل الأطهار قائلا خذوا خذوا اشربوا منها كلكم لأن هذا هو دمي دم الذي للعهد الجديد الذي يسفك عنكم وعن كثيرين يعطى لمغفرة الخطايا هذا اصنعوه لذكري وهذا هو أيضا بالحقيقة آمين إنه كل مرة تأكلون من هذا الخبز وتشربون من هذه الكأس تبشرون بموتي وتعترفون بقيامتي وتذكرونني إلى ناجي آمين 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 بموتك
نسبحك نباركك نخدمك نسجد نسألك يا رب بهم نحن عبيدك الخطاة غير المستحقين نسأل لك في رسالة الصلاحة ليحل روحك القدوس علينا وعلى هذه الخرابين الموضوع يظهرها وينقلها سنة قديسيك وهذا القبيل يجعله جسدا مقدسا له <تصفيق> وأيضا أؤمن ربنا وإلهنا مخلصنا يسوع المسيح يعطى الغفران الخطايا وحياة أبدية لمن يتناول منه أمين يا رب ورحام يا رب ورحام يا رب Partake of your holies unto the purification of our souls, our bodies, and our spirits, that we may become one body and one spirit, and may have a share in inheritance with all the saints. I please you since the beginning. Remember, O Lord, the peace of one only holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Lord, have mercy. Acquire to yourself with the precious blood of your Christ, keep her in peace with all the Orthodox bishops are in her. For most remember, O Lord, our High Priest, our Patriarch, Papa Apa Tawadros. Lord have mercy. And those who rightly handle the word of truth with him, grant them into your holy church, shepherd your flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Sigmunds, priests, and deacons. Lord have mercy. All the servants are in Virginia, purity of every your faithful people. Remember, O Lord, to have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father, the Pantocrat. Remember, O Lord, the salvation of this your holy place and replace every monastery of our Orthodox fathers. Lord, have mercy. And those who dwell there in God's face, which is accord, O Lord, to bless the earth, the fruits of the earth, the waters of the earth, the seeds, the herbs, and plants of the field this year. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Praise of the measure according to your grace, give to the face of the earth. Miss first we amount, watch, first we plant, for prepared for sowing and harvesting. Manage our life as deemed fit. 
This is the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people. The widow, the open, the traveler, the stranger, and for the sake of all of us, to entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you. For you give them their food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness. We go put all flesh. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness. That we too have insufficiency, everything ours may abound in every good deed. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, those who have brought unto you these gifts, those in whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly command of your only begotten son that we share in a commemoration of you our saints Christian accord O Lord to remember all the saints have pleased you since the beginning holy fathers the patriarchs the prophets the apostles the preachers the evangelists the martyrs the confessors all the spirits of the righteous perfected in faith most of all the pure, full of glory of our Virgin, Holy Theotokos, St. Mary, who truly gave birth to God, the Lord. Oh, go, St. John, of Friar Babs, St. Mark, St. Stephen, our Deacon, our Proto-Martyr, Father God, St. Mark, the Evangelist, the Apostle, and Martyr, the Patriarch, St. Sophia, so I this chorus, St. Anthony, St. Absalak, St. Peter, the Holy Martyr, Ah, I priest, St. John Chrysostom, St. Theodosia, St. Theophilus, St. Dimitri, St. Sir Olsen, and Basil, St. Gregory the Theologian, St. Gregory the Wonderworker, St. Gregory the Army. In the 300th Athena, St. Blatner, he had 150 Constantinople, and the 200th at Ephesus, which is Father Gideba, and St. Nature, St. Abba, Paul, three saints, Abba, Macariah, and all the children of Crosby. Here is our Father, by John and Gimir, she's for love of Bishoy, perfect man, the beloved, for good see. If you're our Father, Paul of Tamu, and Ezekiel, his disciple, my Lord's Dom and Fathers, Saint Maximus and Demetrius, 49 martyrs, elders of Shahid, strong saint, Abba Moses, John Kamada, a priest, our Father, by John and Gimir, our Father's Lord, a priest, Baba Khuna Kriyan Thidur is disciple. Baba Shnuri Akhmed writes in Abba Wesa, his disciple, and all the choir of your sins, through his prayers and supplications, have mercy on us all and save us. For the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us.
الذين ذكرنا اسم الذين نذكر من الذين في كل واحد منا في الذين لا يفكرنا الذين لا قدرتنا يحفظ الايمان بالمسيح اذكر يا رب نفس عبدك المرحوم سامي بخيت اسعد راغب مش راوض عجيب فلسطين ماهر علي رضا صبح يفون يعقوب أبا نوب مفدي في أحضان القديسين إبراهيم وأصحاق ويعقوب نعضو الأزياء رب من الحزن والكابة والتنهد في نور قديسيك يا رب Songs you have to take and repose them in the paradise of joy in the region of the living forever in the heavenly Jerusalem in that place and we too who are sojourners in this place keep us in your faith grant us your peace unto the end as it was and shall be it is from generation to generation unto all the ages of the kingdom that as in the souls and all things your great and holy name be glorified blessed and exalted in everything honor and blessed with jesus christ your beloved son and the holy spirit peace be with you all and with your So God the Pantocrator, Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, for he has made us worthy now to stand in this holy place, lift up our hands and to serve his holy name. Let us also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and partaking his divine and immortal mysteries. Amen. نسجد لجسديك المقدس ولدمك الكريم يا رب علمنا ان الصوم والصلاه هما اللذان يخرجان الشياطين اذ قال ان هذا الجنس لا يخرج بشيء الا بالصلاه والصوم 
وخلص دانيال من جب الأسود الصوم والصلاة هما اللذان يعملا بهما موسى حتى أخذ الناموس الوصايا المكتوبة بغزو الله الصوم والصلاة هما اللذان يعملا بهما أهمين النوع رحمهم الله وغفر خطاياهم ورفع <تصفيق> من أجل مجيء المسيح قبل مجيئه بأجيال كثيرة الصوم والصلاة الصوم والصلاة يا شعب خلي بالكم الصوم والصلاة في البيت مهم جدا جدا هما اللذان يعملا بهم الرسل وبشروا في جميع الأمور صيروهم مسيحيين وعمدوهم بسم الله والابن والروح القدس الصوم والصلاة وما لذان يعملا بهما الشهداء حتى سفكوا دماءهم من أجل اسم المسيح الذي اعترف اعترف الحسن أم عبد الله السلبنطي الصوم والصلاة وما لذان يعملا بهما الأبرار والصديقون ولباس الصليب سكنوا في الجبال والبراري وشقوق الأرض من أجل عظم محبتهم في الملك المسيح ونحن أيضا فلنصم عن كل شر بطهارة وبر ونتقدم إلى هذه الذبيحة المقدسة نتناول منها بشكر لكي يقال لنا طالب نفس المسانية رب العالم الذي إيمان بالأرياء محبة كامل الرجاء ثابت نغزم بغير خوف أن ندعوك يا الله الذي في السماء تقول أبانا الذي في السماء Our Father who art in heaven Hallow be thy name Thy kingdom come Thy will be done On earth as is in heaven Give us the air day bread Forgive us our trespasses As we forgive those who trespass against us Lead us not temptation, but the rest of the evil one. Christ is our Lord, thank you, Lord, for the word of our Lord. In Christ Jesus,
واعترفنا اعلامي المخلص بشرنا بموته امنا بقيامته كما السر نشكرك ايها الرب ان اطهرت الكل لان رحمتك عظيمه علينا ان اعطيت لنا ما تشتهي الملائكه ما تشتهي الملائكه ما تشتهي الملائكه انت تطلع مثلا كان اطلب من صلاح كان حب الوجه لكي تطهرنا كلنا تولفنا بك من جاتنا ولا من صلاحك الالهي لكي نكون مملوئين من روحك القدس وثابتين في ايمانك المستقيم مملوئين من نوع شوق محبتك ننتظر مجدك كل حين بالمسيح يسوع ننصد بخوف الله بارك وسلام لجميعكم ومع روحك أيضا شاف أنفسنا وأجسادنا وروحنا أنت الذي قلت لأبينا بصر الفنون وأنت هو بطس على هذه الصخرة لكنيسته وأمور الجحيم من تقوال أعطي كما فاتيح ملكوت السنوات وربطت على الأرض يكون مربو في السنة وما حدثت على الأرض يكون محمد في السنة ولكن يا سيدي عبيدك أبائي وإخواتي وغضعفي محال لنا من فمي لروحك القدوس أيها الصبح اللهم يا حمي الخطيب العالم أقبلته تعبيدك منه نرى لنا ربه فرح لأنك أنت هو رؤوف الرحيم طوي الزنا سيد الرحمة وإن كنا قد أخذنا إليه بالقول سامح ربي لنا كما صار أذكر الله في أنا أيضا أغفر لخطاياي كثيرة وكيسر حيث كسر الإسم تكذب عملك من أجل خطاياي خاصة لما صدق لا تمنع شعبك نعمة حقا حالنا حال الكل سيئة من كل خطية ومن كل أهل ومن كل أهل كل من أخذ نعم لنا يا سيد باقي وقوفة لنهرب إلى التمام من كل أمر ودي أكتب أسماءنا مع صفوف قديسك في ملكوت السموات اذكر يا رب اجتماعاتنا باركة امين يا رب ارحم يا رب ارحم يا رب ارحم القدسات القديسين مبارك الرب يسوع المسيح ابن الله قدوس الروح القدس امين واحد ولا ابن القدوس واحد ولا ابن القدوس واحد والروح القدس امين ولروحك أيضا جسد مقدس ودم كريم حقيقي ليسوع المسيح ابن الآن آمين آمين مقدس وكريم بساد ودم حقيقي ليسوع المسيح الآن آمين حقا نؤمن واعترف الى النفس الاخير ان هذا هو الجزء الوحي الذي اخذه من سيدتنا ومالكتنا كل والدتنا قديس مريم وجعله واحدا مع لاهوتي في الغفلات ولم تزاج ولا تغيير واعترف باعتراف الحسن من بلاص البنطي سلموا عنا على خشبة الصليب المقدس 
استرادت في وعد عنا كلنا بالحقيقة نؤمن أن له ثل يفارق ناسوته لحظة واحدة ولا تلفت عين يعطى عنا خلاصا غفرانا الخطايا حياة نبدية لمن تناول أؤمن 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 أن هذا هو بالحقيقة أمين 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 أؤمن 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 أن هذا هو بالحقيقة أمين اطلبوا عنا وعن كل المسيحيين الذين قالوا لنا من أجلهم أن نذكرهم في بيت الرب سلام ومحبة ربنا يسوع المسيح معكم رتلوا بنشيد الليلويا صلوا من أجل التناول باستحقاق من هذه الأسرار المقدسة الطهرة السماية يا رب ورحم صلاة قبل التناول يا رب إني غير مستحق أن تدخل تحت سقف بيتي لأني إنسان خاطئ فقل كلمة ولا لتبرأ نفسي قل لنفسي مغفورة لك خطاياك إني مغفور وخال من كل صلاة وليس لي سوى تحننك ورأفتك ومحبتك للبشر وأنت قد تنازلت من سماء مجد غير مدرك إلى زلنا وارتضيت أن تولد في مزود البقر فلا ترفض يا مخلص القدوس أن تقبل إلى نفس الزليلة الحقيرة التي تنتظر حضورك البهي إنك لم تستنكف من دخول بيت الأبرص لتشفيه فاسمح يا إلهي بالدخول إلى نفسي لتطهرها لم تمنع الخاطئة من تقبيل قدمي فلا تحرمني الدنو منك لتناول جسدك الطاهر ودمك الأقدس بل فليصر تناولي للاشتراك معك ولإبادة كل ما هو دنس ولإماتة أهواء الدنيا وللعمل بوصاياك المحية ولشفاء نفسي وجسدي من كل خطية ولقبول مواهبك ولسكن نعمتك ولحلول روحك وللاتحاد بك والثبات فيك لأحيانا قدوس أمين Lord, I am not worthy that you should come into the roof of my house, for I am sinful, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Say unto my soul, your sins are forgiven. I am bare in need of your righteousness, your compassion, your mercy, and your love. You own with yourself and descend from the heavens in honorable glory to our lowly state and accept to be born in mage. Holy Savior, do not reject my humble and miserable soul, which is waiting for a glorified coming, but accept to come into my soul to cleanse it, as you do not refuse to enter the leper's house to heal it. Please, O Lord, enter my soul and heal me. Do not forbid me from receiving your holy body and your precious blood. Woman who is a sinner from kissing your feet, may my communion with you banish every defilement and mortify my evil desires. Help me obey your life giving commandments and heal my soul and body from all sins. May I accept your gifts. May your grace dwell in me and your spirit abide in me and make me united with you, that I may live for the glory of your holy name. Amen. Alleluia, 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 Yesu al-Masih Samad, Arba'ina Yawman Warba'in, ليلة سبح الله في جميع قدسي الليل